Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the Morris Commercial. A lot of you have been getting involved in this build and are really enjoying it, as are we. So, we are back on it today. Chris is going to continue to clean up that engine best he can. There's a few little tiny minor blemishes that he does want to get off. He wants to remove the fan assembly. We're going to be removing the grill. Just basically getting everything out of the way. And then he's going to put some heat proof primer. He's going to paint it on the engine. And hopefully that does dry today. Because then we can go ahead and paint the enamel straight over the top. The valve cover that goes over here, we have got that sitting here. If you remember, we blasted it and primed it before. That's actually going to be black and the engine obviously is going to be green. And there's the little chain cover there. That's going to be black as well. These things that Chris made up have now been removed, the plates that covered up the holes. He's going to be cutting and making a couple of new gaskets, etc., for it. And we'll try and get all of that on video as well. Really, the aim today for us is to try and get that engine completely done and get it dried because the new wiring that Chris has ordered, obviously you couldn't order a loom for this car, so he has ordered all the original style wires for it and he's going to be making a whole new loom. It is due to be dropped off today, obviously if the post does come, so he would really like to crack on and get that done because... The cab you can see in the background we've actually got to wheel that out in the yard later on this afternoon because that's actually being collected and going up to the paint shop with the doors so that's what we're up against at the minute obviously there will be a little bit of time lapse and then i'll cut in later and show you exactly what we've got done how we're getting on with it and what's next so we have got that front grill off now chris has been round just literally took the pipes off Put a bit more paint strip around those. We did it off camera so you see it all before, just to get these necks all up nice and clean where the pipes connect up. And he's just been round thin as the whole thing off, blew it out with the airline. And you're pretty much there, mate, ready to go with some primer now, aren't you? Yeah, nearly, nearly there. So we'll be priming it up, and then hopefully that dries and we can hit it with some paint. We are going to be taking the distributor out of the way as well. And Chris has just had a delivery of all the period correct wires, accessories, and as you can see, they are all the correct, beautiful new wires for it. It's got all the connections, all the new connections for the spark plugs, pins, brake light switch. He's got everything in there. We found a company online that did this. It wasn't cheap, but it is the right stuff for the job, so it had to be done. Chris has been very, very busy, as you would have seen on that time lapse there. It's completely in its primer now. And it has, it is drying. We're gonna wait for it to finish drying. And then obviously he's gonna hit it with a color. But you would have seen in there as well that he has polished up all of this bulkhead. The bulkhead's really nice. It's not gonna be getting painted anyway, but because he's building that wiring loom, he didn't want to put all the wire and loom on there and then have to take it off or polish around everything. So he just wanted to get it spot on so that as soon as that engine's painted and dried, he can crack on and start building that loom. But he has got a lot done. He does get so much done in a day. Maybe it's because I'm not standing next to him talking his socks off, but one or the other, he does certainly get a lot done in a day and that is looking absolutely cracking. He's in the other room now 
cleaning up all the metal work for the advance and retard. So he is really moving on with it. And we don't normally mention um, companies really, but massive shout out to Olight for hooking us up with his torch because you would have seen on that time lapse, Chris has been using it all day and it is absolutely brilliant. I will chuck their link in the description. Let's get on and get this painted the right colour. It's actually the next day, the next morning, and I've come in and I said to Chris, oh, I want to film that. And he said, no, nah, it's not really, you know, you don't need to put this in, they'll see it on the engine. And I said, no, nah, no way we're putting this in there. <laughs> Guys, he's been cleaning all this stuff up. Look at that carburetor now. Absolutely beautiful. You've just cleaned all that up with a little Dremel, little Dremel multi-tool and a polisher and some teacup. This blade is not going to paint and he, he really did want to paint it a different colour but it is original and obviously it is red because it is the fan and people need to see it to make sure they don't put their fingers in it. Even the exhaust bolts that hold the manifold on, he's gone over to the bench and he's polished them all up and they look absolutely incredible and it's so nice to bring back these original parts and reuse them spark plugs they've all been cleaned up these are the originals that cover's all been painted black the chain cover that is he's dug out and found a nice new gasket and he is here as we speak polishing up one of the pipes what is that chris the fuel pipe yeah that's the fuel pipe so he's polishing that up and the advanced retard is that? That's the linkage. The linkage, yeah. he's cleaned all that up. It's got so much little intricate detail on it. It's lovely and it really does look nice. Now it is all cleaned up. So I really wanted to put that in there because he spent a couple of few hours doing that. All last night. Oh, all last night. He stayed behind and he's cleaned everything up and it really does show and it's really, really looking impressive. So he's cracked on with that and it looks absolutely beautiful. Don't worry guys, he didn't hit the sump here. That is all masking tape. Chris did just say he's put it on and although it's come out really nice, you can still see bits through it. So it is gonna need two coats. But it's incredible how far that little pot of paint goes. How much have you used? Just a, a quarter of that. Yeah. How much was that? It was a quarter of a litre. Uh, 12 quid. 12 quid for a quarter of a litre and it's, He's literally done all that engine in a quarter of a tin, so he'll have some left over for next time. But yeah, once that's got a couple of coats on it, I'm sure that is gonna look incredible. So guys, that has now had both coats of green paint, and that is it. We've just literally got to wait for it to dry, and Chris can start the process of fitting that all back up. But it's so bright now, you can see my shadow in it. It really, really does look beautiful. And once that is 100% dried off, we can open the doors, let a bit of natural light in, and you can see how nice it really does look. But you can tell it really paid to get rid of all that old paint off of there because it's gone down so smooth and it's come out really, really nice. Gosh, check that out. How beautiful does that look? He's literally finished now. Can't do anything else to it until the wiring loom has uh, been built for it. But absolutely incredible. And credit to Chris, you know, he's done all of that. He's done the whole lot by himself, really. All I've done was help him lift the cab off, but he's just connected up all these rods. He slightly moved the position of this bowl, so he does, he has got a move the fuel pipe stretch it out here a little bit so it does reach because he's going to be fitting an air filter on there but how good does that look they're the new little caps that are going on top of the plugs i did ask chris about these couple of little marks like there and there 
and he said they're actually imperfections in the casting. And I don't know if you can see that there, but that's the actual date, 1934, the date of the, Chris, what was that date on there? I can't Fourth believe. of July. Fourth of July. Casting date. 1934. Put your comments in the comment section. Let us know what you think of that. I'm well, well impressed with it. It really does look lovely now. The cab is going off for paint. They're collecting it on Monday. And Chris's aim with the car, I've just discussed it with him. And what he'd like to do is get it all wired up, get it all running and driving and completely done. So that as soon as that cab is all painted, we can actually load the Morris onto the back of my truck, drive it over there, and then five or six of us lift the cab back onto the car, bolt it on, and then bring the car back here and finish fitting it up. But I actually thought that this was gonna be a bit of a project that was gonna take quite a few months, but obviously we are in lockdown. Chris has had so much more time on his hands to get on and do it, and he has just literally knocked it out in a few weeks but he decided to change the color of this it was green before he's changed it back to black it's original it's how it should be and i think you would agree it really does look lovely the bottom pulley's also been painted black as well so yeah the manifold sorry i didn't even mention that he's done all that you see us blast it in the cabinet it's all been painted with heat proof paint and it really does look lovely. All the writing on it really stands out. It just looks incredible. So guys, that is gonna be the end of the video on the Morris today. But moving forward, the next video is gonna be probably next Sunday. Chris, is that gonna be next Sunday, the wiring? Yeah, yeah next Sunday, is gonna, Chris is gonna build the complete new wiring loom for it. And then the video after that, I guess, is with uh, the paint guy's gonna do a bit of time-lapse and video that for us, so that'd be incredible. We can integrate that into one of the videos. And then I hopefully start building it back up and actually start using it, which would be really, really nice. Like I said, it is Saturday morning. I've just popped in to finish this video off but we've got some more stuff coming next week uh, for you all to look forward to. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description for the little sneak peeks throughout the day. Instagram, it's Selby Dreambuilds. Like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you next week in the next one.